this is when we really transition because we're gonna get into sports all right this is everybody's section because i know we got females out there that love sports and you females that don't love sports we're gonna make you love sports <laughs> <laughs> i hope that ain't sound uh, <laughs> crazy a little, we're gonna a little, make you love sports a little, uh... <laughs> So a lot, I know there was a couple of chicks that said, oh, put the ear pod out. Like, oh, oh, disgusting. Not going to make me want anything. Like, they yeah. said, stop. Or, that's funny. No streams for oh, you. No streams. Uh, but uh, yo, pl- uh, you want to go up? Want to start off? What you want to do? Woo. Oh, I love that. My guy. So, and I'm going to surprise you. Uh-oh. I'm going to start with football. Oh, shit. Playoffs. <laughs> Playoffs. It is playoff time, time. people. We got, what's we going got on? a lot to talk about, and I hope y'all got time, because that's all we got right now. We <laughs> fucking sitting <laughs> home, <laughs> chilling. chilling. Virtual. We out here. Virtual motherfuckers. So, I think the greatest topic right now in the NFL. Who? Would you like to see in the AFC and NFC championship? And then who would you like to see in the Super Bowl? I'm just, at heart, I'm a Brady fan. I want to see him do it again. Just because he's Tom Brady. He's currently the greatest in that regard. Right. I want to see the Wilt Chamberlain of our time. I want to see him get another one in Tampa for the 50th with a team that shouldn't have been there. That's dope. I really wish the Giants got in this week. Because mm-hmm. if Tom had to beat the Giants on his <laughs> way to the Super Bowl, this would he, he has to retire after this. Like, mm-hmm. yo, wild card, Giants beat them, got the chip. It's the 50th. <laughs> I'm a man again in the <laughs> house. I own this shit. But, you know, you got to play the other team, whatever. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, hope Tom takes it there. So, I definitely got them on this side of it. But, who are they going to play, though? Mm. Mm. It's a lot of teams. It's NFC Championship, baby. So, you got Tampa. Who's next? <laughs> I could see the sweat on Kenny right now, ladies dripping. and gentlemen. Because <laughs> you got, they got to see the Packers. At some point. Like, they're gonna have to see him. Aaron's not with it. They're gonna have to see the Packers, and that's a scary game. So, t- so Tampa, Green Bay, that's a scary game. But you is gotta, that what you want to see? I want to see Aaron. If Aaron, if anybody beats Tom, I would want it to be Aaron. Okay. I'll say that. All because, right. you know, I guess he's had, a, not a role, he has a pretty successful career, honestly. Always Hon- been a sh- always been efficient, yeah. but I always feel like he's getting like the short end of the stick in terms of greatness. It's funny. I don't want to call him great, but he's damn good. Like you know yeah. what he sounds like. Yeah, he should get because respect. you know Aaron is Aaron. He's been football and a cool guy forever. Mm-hmm. I think what he doesn't get credit for is what he does other than that. He's uh, involved off the field with a lot of. I don't know. Oh, okay, but it would be interesting. If Aaron joined the Freedom Cage podcast to talk about whatever else he has going on, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm, but mm, talking about the Zoom, you know what I mean? Like, but the real thing about it is, I think he's been really on the short end of the stick because he beat the NFL's team at the time. Yeah, when he won the chip, mm-hmm. the Steelers, yeah. and I feel like he got scarred for that. Because everybody went into that Super Bowl thinking the Steelers was going to win. Yeah. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Like, we remember yeah. that shit. Yeah. 
Somebody had to lose. Yo. He wasn't with it. And then Lil Wayne came out of nowhere with the Packers shit. And they fucking and they won. won. And they won. Yeah, man. That was dope. Crazy. I forgot about that. Uh-huh. But yeah, anybody Rogers? could be Tom. I, I wanted to be Aaron. All right. So is the Super Bowl favorite from the NFC? Or is that just, hey, if it happens, it happens. You know what? I ain't even going to put you in the spot yet. You still got the AFC. Go ahead, my brother. <sighs> <laughs> and let me tell y'all how dedicated my man is. He's on the fucking sure. playoffs pyramid. Make so sure make sure that, that his that. picks are legitimate. I don't make Just to let y'all know, we not fucking around on Freedom Cage. I just, I don't we know. double, triple check what the fuck we talk about. Just in case. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> It's gonna be rough, man. It's a mm. lot of Titans ain't nothing to fuck with. Yo, real talk, I am so sorry to interrupt this. Look at this score right now. Again? Oh man. At right least now Harden's the Rockets doing. are Harden's beating the doing. magic. Sixty two to thirty three. God damn. I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead. God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God damn. Like I didn't uh oh, terrible. Oh man. Uh, He's like, I don't even know what to say after that. Poor Orlando. But, um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me break it. All right. Mm, break it down, brother. Go ahead. I think the Browns going to beat the Steelers this week. Mm. I'm going to throw it out there. I know they beat him last week. I know Ben wasn't there. I mm. get it. He'll be there this week, rested, ready to go. Okay. I think, I think the curse of Juju going to get him again. Mm. Just how he was dancing on the little logo and yeah. got blasted. This time he's in the media saying, yo, gray faces. We don't know them. They're the Browns. You know what that means. Mm. You, kinda, you know what I mean? Kind of having a little bit too much bravado. That's what got your chin checked last time in the game. I just think they're going to they're gonna bring it to him and fuck the R up for them. <sighs> I think the Browns will do it this week. Ooh, That's okay. That's uh, okay. Bear Saints. Saints take care of it. Ravens Titans. Uh that's the first game of the day, Sunday. Uh um I don't want to see neither of these men lose. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to see neither of these men lose. Uh-huh. Uh, Cause Tennessee feel, I feel like they earned a right to get back. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? They was there, you know, but <sighs> I'm gonna take the Ravens. Fuck it. I think mm. the Ravens gonna do it. But if they do it, Henry has a has a a weird game. Not one. He's, <laughs> he's gonna have to have a weird game for them to win. He, he has to have the weird game where he's only like seventy two yards. What happened? Like that's good, but he wasn't as opposing as we thought you'd be. You know. Uh, but if he put up anything over one sixty, it's a wrap. Because those are gonna be bruised yards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. He wears down a defense with that shit. Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. Who else? Rams, Seahawks. I got Seahawks, man. He said, I got Seahawks. Smashing man. Sierra, man. Respect that dude. He's getting it. Um, <laughs> shouts to future. Fuck this, Washington. Oh, yeah. Duh. It's time. <laughs> Might even worry about that. But, yeah, he's got he's going to have to go see Aaron on that side. Other side, though. I think Kansas City going to be there waiting on them. Mm. Kansas City going to be waiting on them. On Green Bay? <laughs> Whoever come out that game, Kansas City going to be waiting on them. I'll say that. Like Kansas City going to be waiting on them. Mm. Whoever. Whoever. Kansas City going to be waiting. I don't even want to talk about that side. Kansas mm-hmm. City going to be waiting on whoever. All right. So who's your Super Bowl prediction? Out of the NFC, though. Because it's not, you, you got to pick one. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, brother. Pick one. Pick Come one. On, <sighs> so much pressure. <laughs> This is the first time I see my man blush, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Like, he's right here. Like, 
Uh, <laughs> shit. Mm, it's going to be interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, 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 I'm going to come All right, so I'll know. give you some time. I'll talk about my pick. So, AFC Championship. Let's look at this, right? So, listen. 100%. I really feel like out of bottom of out of bottom of the pack, I like the Bills, man. I think the Bills are gonna get there. I think Josh Allen, the Bills are having fun. They are. They are becoming the NBA ver- the NFL version of the Golden State Warriors. Like all those guys do. Is have fun on that field. They don't give a shit. When you can throw it to your second string, third string, fourth string receiver. And your quarterback don't give a shit. He either going to run it. Strong. You know what I'm saying? You got two running backs that are fearless. And you got a defense that has only been questioned one time this year. When DeAndre Hopkins made that miraculous fucking catch. Hell of a catch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that Hell photo, of a that catch. That still photo was wild. I'm telling you. I think the Bills are coming out of there. So now. You got to see the Chiefs, though. You're right. <laughs> you got to see the Chiefs. You're absolutely right. I, even... I am going to make the prediction of the year. Make sure you make a bet. <laughs> I agree. Like I told you, I man, agree. They put nobody down. What you got? I think that the Titans are going to remember last year in that AFC Championship game, mm-hmm. and I think the Titans are going to win. Yeah, yeah. I would like that for Derek. Yeah, I would like that. That'd be dope. I would mm-hmm. like that for Derek, but. You gotta see the Chiefs. <laughs> Boy, on play. Put ketchup on everything. We're gonna get this dub. Yep. My AFC championship is Titans versus Bills. Titans, Bills. And the Titans get to the Super Bowl. Titans, Bills. So the Chiefs not even gonna get there? <laughs> that's that's my that's my oh, wild man. prediction. You said the Chiefs not even gonna get to the. <laughs> I don't even think they're gonna get the. I don't think they're gonna even gonna get to the mm, AFC Championship. That's gonna be good. That's gonna I be think good. The Titans gonna get past the Ravens and then they gonna remember last year and they gonna be like fuck that. Mm. So after that, let's go to the NFC. Okay, I agree with you. I, I think Pack is running the table. I know you don't want to say it because you love Tom, but Packers going to run the table in the NFC. They're, they're my pick in the Super Bowl. I got Packers, Titans. So now, Seahawks pass Rams? I don't know. Russell been getting sacked a lot these days. Like, they've been putting Russ in the dirt. Yeah, they have a little bit. And I think they're going to make golf not throw that much because they know already you, you're not dependable. Mm-hmm. They're going to depend on Cam Akers, Daryl Anderson, and fucking um, Malcolm Brown. Mm-hmm. They're going to probably do some quick slants to um, Cup and Woods and just make sure that he does not make them lose. They're going to make sure that the Seahawks win. Hmm. If I know Sean McVay, like I think yeah, I know McVay. Sean McVay. You think you're going to pull a Sean McVay? Yeah. Like, he's going to say, no, my quarterback is not ready to win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But my defense is. So all I got to do is limit the mistakes of my quarterback and make sure my defense is on par. So think about it. You're a football player. Mm-hmm. How do you keep your offense on the field? Run the ball. There you go. That's the only way to do it. That's it. <laughs> your best. That's it. Defense is your offense sometimes. Uh-huh. If you got a hot, a hot dude on the other side of the That's field, it. <laughs> keep him over mm-hmm. there. Like, That's like, it. Don't let him get on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? First down, you either do a quick 
You know what I'm saying? Like hand it off to the running back or a quick slant, whatever. You just keep it so when you get to third down, it's third and short. Mm-hmm. And after that, you run the table on niggas. Like, just like that. now you got to face Jalen Ramsey out there. And he got a great fucking understudy out there with him. And then you got motherfucking 99. By the way. <laughs> By the way. And he got other motherfuckers with him that are just as hungry as him. And you got to double him. So I know I'm not getting doubled. It's crazy, bro. It's dope. It's going to be a good playoffs. Mm-hmm. Whoever wins the Super Bowl is going to be in Tampa, though. So yeah. I don't know how that party goes. <laughs> So I got the Rams getting out of there. The Saints and the Bears is weird. Like, I feel like a lot could happen there. Mitch Trubisky knows he's playing for his job. Yeah, but he planned on losing it, so. He definitely planned on losing it, though, so this is weird. And, mm, but... He ain't gonna get out of there. Drew not having that. Drew's gonna win a game. He's not. He is not gonna lose this game. Just came back from a big injury. Ribs is crazy. Nah, he's not losing them niggas. You think so? I'm telling you, Drew is not losing these dudes. Ooh, he's not. He's not. I don't know, bro. Not definitely not. I don't know, bro. I think that it's gonna be it's gonna be tough because the Bears defense is they're gaining confidence. Mitch Trubisky is gaining confidence. Mm-hmm. And then after the fact, I don't know, man. And David Montgomery is finding himself lately. And mm. Allen Robinson is still Allen Robinson. And let's not forget, they still got Anthony Miller and Daryl Mooney. Mm-hmm. These guys are hungry. And Cordell Patterson, he's a fucking beast. Jesus. They find one hole in that Saints game. And they're going to blow them the fuck up. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is in New Orleans. So they have that going for them. But they ain't got no fans, but they're going to be in New Orleans. So that's the only good thing about it. Drew's coming back from cracked ribs. He got this. All right. <laughs> All right, oh, man. man. Who else was there? Uh, you know, right. Seahawks, Rams, you said. But, uh, yeah, so I feel time. like the Bears get past the Saints. Mm-hmm. Bears, Rams. I think Rams take that. And then, of course, the Packers run the table in this. Packers, Titans. So, Packers, Titans. Woo. That's your Super I think Bowl? Aaron gets his Super Bowl. Mm. I got Packers, Titans. Mm. Yep. I got Chiefs and Bucks. It's, mm. going, it's going down. Chiefs and Bucks. It'd be dope if Buffalo could do it, but they're going to meet the big bad Red Wolf. <laughs> and the coach knows how to call plays, bro. So, mm. And he has the ultimate Madden 99 quarterback to do it. He could get you 15 on the ground if he had to. He could throw it. 60 on a run if you need him to. Mm. He's dope. Like, he's... And it's fun to him. He's just... <laughs> throwing shit, not looking. I'm not even worried about them. If they lose, I'm going to be shocked. <laughs> if they lose before they get to the Super Bowl, I'm going to be shocked whoever beats it. Whether yeah. it's probably, if, if they do lose it... <laughs> Watch it be the Colts. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I did not see that coming. They, they were seven, yeah. right? Like it's like yeah, I was like, yo, nah. But um, I see them. Mark that down. He said the Colts. That's oh, a hell of a bet. Oh, yeah, if you put money down oh. <laughs> on the Colts getting to the Super Bowl, because yeah. that's the only way they beat the Chiefs. So yeah. if you have the Colts going to the Super Bowl, woo. Yeah, yeah. Don't put too much. <laughs> put a little hundred down, hundred. <laughs> Might get you some change back. Uh, uh, that's funny. Who else was there? Um, yeah, that's it. I got, you know what I mean? Bucks Packers. Bucks uh, wins. <sighs> yeah, Chiefs Titans. Yeah, so Chiefs just a, cu- a couple quick highlights in NFL. So Washington released Dwayne Haskins. Devontae Adams is... He the best wide receiver in the league. He had 140 catches with one drop. 
had more touchdowns than five NFL teams. 17. Yeah, Heisman. (laughs) Red zone stats. 21 receptions, 13 TDs, 120 yards. Mm -hmm. This guy is the real deal. He broke the 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 Moss records. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he broke. He's, he's that got, guy. He's good. He's that guy. He is that guy. All right. So where you want to go with it, fam? Where are we going next? You want to keep it sports? You want to keep it here? What you want to do? We gonna keep it sports, man. Um, and then NBA. Mm, NBA. Man. Yo, Kyrie Wallen. Kyrie said, "Yo, I'm not playing." I believe it was in. Uh, I wouldn't say retaliation or response to the Capitol uh, issue, uh, not issue, uh, mobbing with the whites. But, um, dude, you got a scheduled game to play. Like, not this one. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you know, yeah. Black Lives Matter, bro, just just go play the game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I didn't see the point. I'm just, unless that was just a ruse to him, just like, you know, I'm not in the mood. I don't want to play. Nash was just like, oh, oh, okay, cool. KD, you heard that? He said he doesn't want to play. <laughs> you cool with that? You just yeah. want to, just us tonight? All right. All right, Kyrie, see you tomorrow. And I just hope he can maintain for KD. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, this yeah. Point. So, uh, I understand. This is the one time I understand Kyrie. Because... I kind of expected some sort of expression from the NBA players because are we saying that if one of ours are killed, we won't play? Mm -hmm. But if our whole culture is clearly shown a divide, it's not enough Mm -hmm. to want to not play the game. And that was the one time I understood Kyrie because he is fully in the fight. He is fully in the struggle. Like, he's not halfway in. He's one of those guys that is going to give you that real original Black Panther feel. Kyrie is like the Andre 3000 of the NBA. (laughs) <laughs> like yeah, you know, I'm nice. You know, you see me when you, when you see me. Yeah, I'm on my own boat. I'm on my own boat, man. I'll see you guys when I get to the next island. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we love them. We we don't get them all the time, but here they are. Yeah, <laughs> being superstars. Yeah, you that's it. dope. Yeah, cause and it's the beauty of taking a talent, but being who you are. Like, he understood, like, I need money to survive and build, but I don't need to be like everybody else. Yeah, I got my chip, too. Yeah. Huh. And he found a great the organization out. to do that. Like, I can be the best player on your team, but if we don't reach the highest level, it's not going to be because of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hmm. it, it, it's really just me the, being the, me. The eighth guy on the bench kind of thing. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, like, so, hey, hey, you tired? Come, I got you. I got you, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think Kyrie has figured some something out recently, and at this point, he's just riding that because he right. understands like all this other shit that people are on that I'm not on. I don't have to do that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Straight up, man. Straight up. Oh, they're looking to expand. Yeah, so they're looking to expand. They're looking to go back to Seattle. Mm-hmm. They're looking to other cities that don't have NBA teams so they can really like expand on the NBA brand and make it happen, man. I, I, I'm a 100% supporter, and that's real. But we got to talk about that infamous game. Which one? Clippers down by 50 50? at the half. That's a lot of points, man. (laughs) Like, a lot of people looking at each other like, playoff PD's nuts, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) 
Fuck, I think it's called the mind. Soft ass nigga. Like, yo. <laughs> it's like, you know, shit's bad. Shit. Uh, it was looking bad. It was that one. That one was one for the books. I've never seen that in my life. Mm-mm. Ever. It's a lot of points. To be down by I don't 50 think the final, at the I don't half. think the final score looked like it was down 50, but you knew they was losing for a yeah. long time. I think they lost by like 29, yeah. maybe 28. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes you look like it was. I'm not saying the Mavericks are a bad team, but both of those teams are supposed to be contenders. So you don't expect a 50 point difference between mm. the two. So. That that was the only thing that caught us off guard, but keeping things rolling, right? Mm-hmm. The Bucks lost by twenty to the Knicks, Yo. and the Knicks right Knicks now, is nice bro, we are here vibing. We're getting it in. Shout out to Knicks fans. They it's just about recently time. hasn't been much, but we need it. <laughs> they just recently beat two legitimate teams, the Hawks. We and here. the Jazz. We here. These well, young boys are thriving. We out here, finally. I'm I'll telling you, take man. it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, so, outside of that, just keeping it rolling in sports, we also have the college football playoffs that just happened. So, I'll let you say it, man. Because I know you love to say it about your favorite college team. Go ahead and say it. We're back in the chat, man. <laughs> We're here, Oh, man. you got to give us you gotta give us that infamous saying, man. What, roll time? There come you on, go. Man. You know, come on, man. It's automatic out here. You know, it's what we doing, man. Like, yo. Saban's going to get it done again, man. He's just the good. They're efficient, bro. Every time. They do exactly what he's supposed to do every time. Like everybody on the offense does what they're supposed to do. Everybody on defense does. Might be some slip up spot. You were close. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're just too good all the time. I wish mm. anyone playing them good luck every time. Mm, mm, mm. Well, yeah. Yeah, man. So, listen, they haven't been in there in the last two years. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. Um, but here we are. They trounce Notre Dame, and it was funny because there was like a lady on social media, like when they were picking the teams in the college football playoffs, mm-hmm. and she found out her team was playing Alabama. She, she put like, a whole oh. head in her head. Like, like God damn, <laughs> those boys don't <laughs> lose. They really don't. She was like, I don't think we got that Clemson magic. <laughs> we, I don't think it's working. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Ohio, Ohio State. Right? Wow. Talk yeah, about man. fucking revenge, man. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Romp them motherfuckers. Who 11th? What you said? <laughs> I, oh, you, oh, who's so what? You got to be 12th, right? <laughs> like, like on a I was worried about Dabo after that second chip. Wow. I really w- because I felt like the the newfound crown was gonna get to his head, and he would say something that didn't make sense. Hmm. Like I've never heard. Did, they, did, did Ohio play less games? Like by like three less games, something like that. They did. They okay. did. But I think that's why he was fake hating. He's like, oh, it was three. They had three bye weeks, man, bro. It's COVID, man. What are you supposed to do? Like, <laughs> you still gotta play them. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, like, my biggest thing is, I've never heard an excerpt from a coach like that. Like, really, just saying this team ain't shit. You know, or this is. Well, I didn't know current college coaches had access to ranking the college teams going into mm-hmm. the playoff scenario. Or not even a ranking system. I thought it was another board or something that took care of that. But he ranked them 11th. So everybody just didn't understand his personal opinion on that. Like, why would you put them so far back? They're Ohio State. They're damn good. Ah, uh, played eight games. Uh, they should have done more. <laughs> yeah, but it's still Ohio State. That's right. <laughs> like, it was, That's it was right. crazy. That's right. Hmm. 
right. So oh, we'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Alabama versus Ohio State. Turns out Ohio State has all their COVID inquiries in handle and everybody's going to be there for the game. But college basketball. Great fucking news because we talked about this in the first episode. It looks like we will have a college basketball men's tournament. How are they going to do it? So, it turns out it's going to be held in one place. Mm-hmm. Indiana is going to have the same type of COVID bubble effect kind of test and tracing like the NBA. Like, you had to have, like, I think they said seven negative um, tests, and then you have a tracing um, monitor. Damn, okay. You know what I mean? So, I appreciate that because... The college kids last year didn't get to display themselves in a way, and it probably hurt their stock, right? Like right now, the Kings got a late pick that ended up being better than the picks before him. He probably gets that tournament exposure last year. He's probably a top three. It's that serious to these kids. So I'm glad they're going to make it work this year. I am glad. Oh man! Mm-hmm. Shouts to them. Yeah, definitely. You gotta, you gotta. I don't really follow college basketball. You got a a winner? You think that's gonna come out this year? You got any early bets? Too, I think right now Gonzaga's looking good. Mm-hmm. They're the most solid team right now. Um, but the tournament is the tournament. You never know. Yeah, like you can have a sleeper. You can have a, a dominant team just run the table. It is the tournament. That's the beauty of it. Like, you never, never know. know. It's all about matchups. You never know. Yeah, it's all about matchups. So, you get the fuck up matchup. Like, you've been in a team that we've never faced a guy or a team with a big guy that could dominate. Mm-hmm. And you ran a table in the season, but then you get up like the Elite Eight and you run into a team with that big guy. Facts. Mind you, it's... Arkansas United. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's some team that nobody ever heard of, but they happen to make it here and they happen to have that guy. And mm-hmm. that guy looks at your team and said, barbecue chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? Oh fuck it. We're gonna make it we're gonna make it freedom cage. Oxtail. No Say jerk what? chicken. Who what? We're gonna make it jerk chicken. We're going to make a jerk chicken. Like, you know how um, Shaq has um, barbecue chicken? Yeah. I'm saying we're going to call it jerk chicken. Straight up. Wait, wait, what you... So Shaq has barbecue chicken for when he has an easy matchup. He calls it barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm saying that, yo, when you really got that setup, we're going to call it jerk chicken. Hmm. When you got a great setup in a tournament, you meet a dominant team... But you got that one piece that's better than that dominant team. That's it. It's all about Church matchups. Chicken. All about matchups. Yeah, straight up. Hmm. Oh, man. What else you got? Anything else you can think about tonight? Uh, what I got here? Um. So, end of season evaluation for the NFL. Got some things to talk about, man. Um. You got the Cam Newton experiment. And it's a lot we could talk about at the end of the NFL. And we'll talk about that after the Super Bowl. Like, what's really going to happen? But the biggest thing for me, what do you think is going to happen with the Cam Newton experiment? I don't think they re-sign him. Mm. Pains me to say, but... I don't think they're gonna resign him. Like um, it just not that it didn't work out, but it didn't wasn't fruitful. So we are where we are. Yeah, I agree with you. But if he is let go, who's gonna pick him up? I don't think anybody picks him up. He doesn't get picked up. Yeah, I don't think anybody picks him up. I I think at this point, Cam Newton. 
knows. is going to be faced with the brave decision of being a backup. Yeah. Mm. He's probably not going to be a starter right now in mm. this league after this performance. And it's probably not his fault. It's not. It's you know not. what I mean? It's just going to get a bad If rap. this is no COVID this year, he probably has a great season. I think if he dressed karma, it probably wouldn't have been as bad. Mm. But he was coming in like runway shit every day. Like, like you're putting up. Not that he's putting the extra F into it, but it's like. You could be spending that effort on that, on learning the game, being him or, like, mm. uh, you know what I mean? So, if you're just coming in and out with sweatpants, you've been grinding, I'm here all day, I'm out. You know what I mean? I'm just yeah. working on the playbook. I'm getting it in with receivers. I'm throwing a ball. Yeah. I don't have time for the glitz and glam of the, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. No, that's a fair opinion because you're saying you spent your career trying to look good instead of be good. That's the ultimate. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird. Like, yeah. He had great times, but I don't think he dressed like that when he did. So, it's yeah, like, kind of, yeah. after that great time, the dressing started. Yeah. But I, you know what? He's like, yo, I earned this. That could be his attitude. Like, yo, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm here. But I feel him. Yo, I like him. He just, you know, might have got a bad rap this season. I agree, man. I 100% agree. Um, so, listen, who's your sleeper pick for the NFL? Like, I know who you want to get to the championship. I know who you want to, um, yeah. I know who so, you want to oh, get somebody's going to make it outside yeah. of time? Like, who, who, yeah, who like, you wouldn't it, expect? Yeah. This year, who I wouldn't expect to win it if they won it? The Browns. Mm. If they could scrap together four quick wins, they win the Super Bowl. Mm. They might go on a hot streak, and they got a pretty good scrappy team. Yeah, Mayfield's not playing erratic. He's really just playing to, to control the game, you know, so – He's really playing not to turn over the ball and be as efficient as possible. And we all appreciate him for that. We like that he's, you know, funny off the field. The commercials are great. But <laughs> if there is a sleep, I think it might be them. They have the control, the poise. They might pull it off on a low. Mm. They could get scrappy. They, they know how to play in the cold. Like, it's – they're like a, a step version of, like, Nah, I can't even say the Packers. That's a disrespect to the Packers. But, um, you know, like, <laughs> they're a fair-weathered team. You know what I mean? But it should be interesting. Okay. Outside of them, I would like – I like Cleveland win because it'll put this city to rest. Just uh, no more brown backs forever. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. To get into the playoffs after this long and then win one, that would be amazing. That's mm. why. Other than that, I don't know. It got to be one of them, too. Okay. Who you got? Who your sleeper? Mm, my sleeper would be the Ravens. They a sleeper? Yeah. What they, they what they coming in fourth or fifth rank? Gosh, I have to go back, but I know right now nobody's talking. Like compared to last year, mm-hmm. nobody's talking about the Ravens. At Look at all. the MVP. They Not this year. Lamar won it last year or did? Yeah, he Mahomes? won it last year. Like, they were the, you know what I'm saying? Last year, they were the prominent favorite. And now this year, nobody's talking about them. Like, you talk about NFL playoffs. Yeah, like, Mahomes look at you. Out here. You said the, the Browns. Ravens said, are not a favorite at all. That's why they're my sleeper. I think, <sighs> I think if, if you let Lamar when it put chip. together. Four good ones. Yeah, like if you let him, just just give him a chance to hit you with the option. Probably connect four, with Malcolm Brown four or times. Mark Andrews. Like four times, scra- yeah. four scrappy wins. And then you already can you see a Ray Lewis at a AFC Ravens game or you might step Super out Bowl? Old school. 
Yo. He might step out old school with a suit. That kind of hype. Yeah. He that might come out the hype. tunnel, do his dance. Bro. I'm telling you. Hmm. That should be dope.